magaling ka, maybe it's time that you have to explore things outside. Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel! In today's video is I'll be sharing with you on how to deal with disappointment. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and tap the bell beside it for you to be notified every time we have a new upload. So without further ado, let's start. First is you have to accept how you feel. Na kailangan mong i-acknowledge na andyan siya. Kasi ang hirap kapag eventually hindi mo siya pinansin, sasabog ka in no time. Mahirap maipon yan, yung galit, or kung ano man yung nararamdaman mo sa iyong puso. I suggest, i-address mo yan kung kailangan mong umiyak, go. Huwag niyong pigilan yung inyong sarili na mag-react at i-acknowledge ang pain kasi it's okay that it hurts. Pangalawa is you have to remember that you are not a disappointment. Yes, disappointed ka ngayon, pero yan ay hindi panghabang buhay. So you have to learn from it, take action, and move on. Pangatlo is learn from it. Instead of dwelling on the negative thoughts, bakit hindi mo nalang isipin kung ano yung mga positive side, kung bakit siya nangyari sa'yo, baka naman it teaches you something else for you to go out of your comfort zone. And, alam mo yun, kailangan mong aralin, kailangan mong matutunan, hindi lang siya dapat puro lagi mo siyang nararamdaman. You have to let go and learn from it and use it for you to grow. Pang-apat is you have to refocus on what you still have in your life. So, shift, divert, na walang ka ng trabaho, it doesn't end there. So, isipin mo or tanungin mo ang sarili mo, anong meron ka? You still have the abilities. You have the talent, you have the skills, magaling ka, so get out of there. Maybe it's time that you have to explore things outside. Tandaan mo that your disappointment doesn't defy you as a person. Panglima is you have to talk to someone who is close to you. So kung mausap ka ng kaibigan mo, kasi kung totoo mo yung kaibigan, alam nila kung ano sasabihin sa'yo, or they want the best for you, na parang sila yung babasag ng kabubuhan mo or katangahan mo sa buhay, you have to see the situation in a different perspective. Malay mo, dun ka makapagsimula ng iyong action plan kung paano mag-move forward. Lastly, take a break. Sa panahon natin ngayon, hindi siya imposible. Play ka ng mga board games, manood ka ng Netflix, magbasa ka ng libro. Panoorin mo yung channel ko. Go to a place. For example, akit ka somewhere in Rizal. Stop over ka lang. Then, huminga ka lang. Kailangan mo yung mga ganong bagay para ma release mo yung emotion mo o kaya gusto mo, sumigaw ka. Pwede rin yun. And then after that, clear your mind and clear the negativity. And there you have it. Sana meron kayo natutunan sa video na ito. At bago tayo magtapos, let me just share that every disappointment makes you skillful and wise. This has been Irene Ray and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!